you're here and you're loving what I'm sharing and playing with. So my name is Ellen Woodbridge. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. What does that mean? It means I'm a paper crafter. I love stamps, ink and paper and I come on here, share what I'm creating with the Stampin' Up! Stamps in Paper, although there is no stamping today. Um, and I also do sell the products that I use. And if there is a product that I use that I don't sell, I do tell you guys that. Hey, Deb, thanks for joining. And as you're coming in, what I would love you to do is make sure you're liking or subscribed to my uh, Facebook and YouTube and pressing that bell so other people get to see what I'm doing. It's a great way to support me and share me to a wider audience. And if you're on Facebook, press the three dots in the video and just make sure you've turned on notifications so you know when I go live. And that's what the bell does on YouTube as well. So I have finally had my last event for um, October, even though it's now the 2nd of November. I had that on Sunday with my team. So I'd been hoarding some cards um, that I was sharing with them before I shared them with you guys. Hey, Nick. Hey, Kay. Thanks for joining. Um, and I can now share them with you. So the two cards that the two cards from my class earlier in October that I shared with my team were actually totally non-stamping cards um, just because I had a couple of Zoom participants in my um, in my class and I always have um, a couple of Zoom girls in my team meeting because I've got um, amazing team members all across Australia, which is fantastic. I love it. Um, so what we are using today is the Wise Men Tidings dies. Okay, I've used these before um, in not a live video but it was a video over on youtube for the christmas stampathon challenge hey delinda thank you for joining um so the christmas stampathon is up and we are on our final challenge of the year if you wanted to participate in making some christmas tags um, I may even be able to pop my hand on one, although it has nothing to do with the project. Hello, Stacey. Welcome. Um, and pairing those dies with something not in the July to December mini catalogue. This is, well, it's a totally different card, Deborah. I know you love that card, but this card is totally different. Hello, Lynn. How are you? And we are using the Simply Elegant paper. So this is specialty designer series paper. I will go through some of the pieces with you. And this has gorgeous foil on one side of each piece of paper. We we're reminiscing in our team meetings that not very long ago um, with Stampin' Up, our specialty designer series paper only contained two foiled, flocked, some kind of beauty on two two pieces in the whole pack. Now we get a whole pack of specialty. Hey Eileen, how are you? Hey Ruth. Oh, you've missed me. I've missed you as well. See, when the names come up, I go, now when was the last time I spoke to them? Hey Delinda. Although Delinda, you're being tricky and coming in on two devices. Yes, you are. You are being very tricky been showing me all the love. Now, if you're on YouTube, don't forget thumbs up as well. I did forget to mention that later. Now, that's what we're using today. Before I flip the camera around, um, I, 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 I'll explain why I'm good in a second. Um, just a reminder, Eden's Garden is coming tomorrow. I did do an unboxing in the first play. Hey, Alicia. Um, I did do a 
boxing and a first play with this um, and I will be here on Thursday. I will share one of the other projects I did in our team meeting. Hello, Miss Cindy. How are you? Whoops. Cancel. That's fine. Pressing wrong. Pressing wrong places on my screen. So this is the card we're making. A bit pretty. A bit special and I'm going to um, I'm going to try something a bit different on our wise men so without too much further ado I'm just going to make sure I'm up and running on my second screen great thank you so much for that Cindy thank you Eileen I think it's beautiful as well of course I've got to move my mat I won't move that. I hope I don't lose my to-do list post-it note. It's very important. So the reason why I'm good, I may have got a little bit of retail therapy. I went to office works, which is like staples in the US. And I mean, I bought postage stamps and I got a few things from my team members because we have on stage not this weekend, next weekend. Um, so I've got a few things for them to pop in their little packages. I made their cards last night. Um, I don't know what an anniversary follower is, Eileen. I've noticed that in the last couple of videos. Um, hello, Miss Marjean. I think it's how long you followed me. So I'm assuming it's years. It's your anniversary year. I'm not sure. If someone knows what an anniversary follower is on Facebook, because I'm live on both Facebook and YouTube, um, please tell me in the comments so then I know. But I, right now, am going to flick you guys around and we're going to get creating and going through what we're using. Hello, Miss Laurie. Oh, crew is in today. This is lovely. Okay. I'm going to leave you guys like that for a second and I am going to do a bit of surgery. Yours says five. That doesn't surprise me, Nick, because you have been one of my supporters and followers. I've got sticky on here uh, for a really long time. So I reckon it's years. No, no, you have not missed a thing, Laurie. You're just watching me remove. Come on, come off. Right. Just watching me remove a bit of stickiness off my mat. Oh, no problems. Oh, thank you, Sylvia. Absolutely. Stalker in far too many ways. Nick and I live on opposite sides of the country, guys. And there is always stalking of our particular group of friends at, at Stampin' Up! events, which involves very interesting photos um, being broadcast of each other on Facebook. We have a lot of fun. Okay, light is off. So now I can go through all our bits and bobs. So we have the dies. We have our amazing copper foil, which I don't need this pack because I have cut up already what I need. So let's have a look at the Simply Elegant paper because seriously, the name of the paper says it all it is just stunning so we will go through it i miss live events too actually because on stage is so close um i had memories of a re recent events coming up recently so we have this gorgeous this reminds me of like architecture or the arches that are in like universities and churches and all those like Sydney University in Sydney has these has this um beautiful oh, I can't think of the name I will think of it um it, it just has some beautiful buildings and this is like 
a lace so this one is in gold this one is in gold and then you've got amazingly beautiful neutral patterns on the back so this goes with a variety of things i do only have this paper so this one is silver copper and gold so we're really going mix metallics and we even have a floral which is copper gold center and then silver leaves so they are all of them except for the one we are going to use which is this beautiful motif with leaves on the back and this goes really well with the leaves in our artistic dyes so just to give you a further um coordination product i do own the artistic dies and i have not used them enough i know you do see vellum vellum is back girls vellum is back art deco yes but um it's a cloister a cloister sorry i was channeling if anyone has ever watched time team the uk show um mick on um love to go cloister so it reminds me of like a cloister that you find around the edges of that oh awesome eileen that is fantastic oh that's really good just do it don't think about it and it all comes with practice and practice practice and perseverance is uh really what what happens and what comes with it so this is the pack i have left i have no idea where i am up to with these because i kind of forgot one of my team members was coming to the meeting and i had prepared a whole extra pack and i don't know what i've got now so these are all my scrap copper i have one full set here that i need to put on dimensionals so i have a full set of wise men here oh oh i made a boo-boo i should have fixed this before the video but totally forgot about it i put dimensionals on the wrong side so what was going to happen with this dude is that he was going to be walking in a different direction to the other wise men so i pulled off the dimensionals and then gave up on it during the team meeting and chatted with the girls instead so what i really need to do is remove that with my adhesive eraser which stampin up doesn't sell we used to once upon a time but we don't and these are just scraps for the star of david pretty sure it's star of david i should know i did go to a catholic primary school at least hello pamela how are you oh you will when is that happening for you guys because my guys are back at school it's amazing so i have just some white card inserts here because it's a black card I put a white insert so then we could easily write a message to the recipient and these cards are perfect because they're religious without being overly religious and as many of you know I do come from a religious family both sides um oh where's all my vellum oh no I only need one piece because I have this piece, I have that whole one already done. I just need to pop it on and then we're making a whole card. All good. So I come from quite a religious family and I have religious family friends and stuff like that. So I always like, whilst my religious Christmas cards aren't my main Christmas cards, I do always like having a stash of them ready to give those people and i know those people truly appreciate i know i know it's terrible 
Ah, oh God, okay. I know a couple of local schools have been closed down um, here because of a case in the school, um, but not um, my kids' school. So this is actually really hard. It's a lot harder than what I thought. I'm very tempted just to cut another one, you know, because my hands are not going to deal with that. So, abandon ship for a second. I'm going to pop that there so I know where it is. I'm going to need to die cut these anyway. So, die cutting an extra wise man, and I'll just I'll double stack the wise man so then it's used. So, which wise man is it? It's this one. Okay, that's fine. Let's get die cutting. So, we're going to use our mini stamp and cut emboss machine because it's amazing. Balls. And I'll just grab my plates. And as you can see, I did not clean these plates. So these plates are a little bit sticky. Um, if you saw at the end of last week, I did some plate cleaning. And then I was such a rebel on Saturday night. And I used the Jennifer McGuire technique of straightening my Stampin' Company Boss plates because they were quite bowed and um, it worked really well. So she basically uses boiling hot water, a pan and a pot of boiling hot water to uh, remould them into shape. But yes, it worked. It was a good video. Okay, let me see if I have a piece of paper big enough. Nope. I hate looking at black paper because it really does all look the same. Okay, they look like two cards, which is a titch annoying. I don't think I actually, maybe, 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 maybe not. I don't have any wide enough scraps. But that's okay. I always prefer to check my scraps first before I cut into a full piece of cardstock. Why? Because I don't like my scraps to uh, pile up. Oh, no, I do have one. I lie. There's one here. This, this is a card front ready scored. All good. Now, lots of people ask me about my paper storage. These are Avery um, 9 by 12 job ticket holders, and I got them off Amazon. Last time I looked, they weren't available, but they're a job ticket holder and they're Avery brand. And I have about 60 of them because I have one colour in each. Um... Yep, exactly. You've not tried that technique before. Oh, the water. Well, her husband's apparently a chem I knew he was an engineer, but he's a chemical engineer. And um, oh, I've obviously used the big machine. That's okay. Um, I'll just cut down a piece that's roughly the right size because I think I was cutting like three at a time. I was being very smart and economical with my um, cutting. Um, and he was explaining why putting them in the oven is not such a great thing to do. And oh, look, I thought about putting them in the oven and it was really just in the too hard basket to tell you the truth um so i didn't do it and then when i saw this because you basically get a like cookie sheet pan kind of thing you put it in the bottom of your sink and then you boil two pots of water 
you can also use the kettle using the kettle also works as well um and you put the plate bow side up in the bottom of the pan and then you pour in the boiling hot water so i'm just cutting this now so you get you put the boiling hot water in the pan you take the second pot which also has boiling hot water i will pause this story for a second while i pick up this dye um and you give it a little bit of pressure lift it up make sure water's all around it and then you leave it there for 20 minutes so i've got all of these lined up on the scrap now you can i don't know if you can see but there is an indent in the copper paper now that indent will actually totally disappear because of the pressure of the die cutting so never worry if your foil is scratched when you need to die cut because the pressure of die cutting remolds the fold oh no problem sylvia yeah well the, with the oven because this is like glass plastic one the bottom of your plate will be thicker than the top of your plate where with the water technique you're heating it and remolding it like with water which is different to baking it so he used the stained glass analogy that if you go into um, older buildings that have had that had stained glass in them like the super huge stained glass windows over the hundreds of years that those buildings have been in existence and the stained glass has been in existence you will find the bottom stained glass is thicker than the top stained glass because even though the glass is even though the glass is um, solid, it is forever in a liquid state. It was actually very interesting listening to someone who knows what they're talking about talk about it. So, yeah. So that was just my adventure on Saturday night. I was watching telly. I'd set the timer. Or I'd do what I had to do, then sit down because I did two plates. And I forgot to press down with the boiling pot of water in my sink um, first. And um, the my most used plate, my base plate, was still a little bit bowed. So I gave it a second go and it came out perfectly. So yes, I've given my plates a little more life. Okay, so my dies are all the way in safe. So I'm going to pop all this copper scrap back in with my copper foil so then I know where to find it. So while I'm thinking of it, I'm going to double up my friends. So technically, we should go fairly quickly today. Note the word technically and no, don't do that. All right. Lucky I always have my handy dandy pin. Oh, that was a big. Just give it a wiggle as it comes out. Okay. It actually sticks to my stamp and storage because it's so tacky, even though it's currently sticking to my finger. It's a very unusual place where I've kept it. Okay, so we've got a little bubble here. Yep. And we have flow again. No, this is not very happy at all. Because I didn't pull out the actual um, blockage. So I may need to work on that a little more. But I am not actually 
using uh, this glue very much today because we're using vellum. So I'm just making sure these are lined up nicely. And then I'm going to pop them to the side. Okay, and I'm going to bring in this piece of vellum. I know you can't see it, but trust me, it's here. And I'm going to work out where I want them. And I think, oh, I pulled away my card. No, I didn't. Where's my card? Up here. What I think I did, I put the most fancy hat in the middle. I think that's what I did. It doesn't matter about the other two because they're like the same height. But the man with the fancy hat has a taller hat. So I thought spatially that looked better in the middle. I don't know whether it's logical or not, or not but that was my logic. Now, because we are using vellum, I'm not going to be using any wet glue on the vellum. So take our stamp and seal. Now, if you have trouble with your stamp and seal, you just want to make sure that the glue is right on the tip. Am I putting this on the correct side? Yes, I am. I want to make sure they're all going in the right direction. You don't need a lot of pressure, although this does not want to run. Okay, you get to the end, you tip it up, and then you pull it back. And that means the glue is right there, ready to go on our second wise man. So that's often the problem people, although because I was mucking around and doing it slowly, it didn't quite work in the fashion I wanted. So tip up, pull back. And that means when you pull it up, you don't get the glue goober and it doesn't, um, it doesn't kind of go everywhere where you don't want it to. Now, when I line this dude up and you really can't see, but what I also want to do is make sure we're getting him fairly straight and I'll show you from the back in just a second so what i wanted to do was make sure the vellum wasn't sticking out between his vestments and his arm look at me using all the proper terms can you post the order for the number just look up avery job ticket holder and mine are nine by twelve so Avery job ticket holder. That's how I found them. Um, they look a little different to what they did when I bought them years ago. So I'm kind of making sure that because we're popping it on this, you're okay to go off the vellum because that's kind of how I want it to be. So I kind of made sure this bit and this week bit were roughly the same off the vellum now these two dudes are going in the right direction and now I'm going to put dimensionals on the correct side everyone's watching me put it on the correct side and if I'm not speak now or forever hold your peace you've been there Ah, okay. Yes, that's probably because it you may be using too much pressure. When you're rolling it, it, it the more pressure you use, the harder it needs to work. And you start tearing up the paper. So once you've got it rolling, you really don't need any downward pressure as such you just need that contact to keep it rolling i hope that makes sense cindy i'll see you eileen i'll see you on the replay my love um and what 
paper, don't we use it on? It, it, don't use it on the cotton paper. The cotton paper is far too fragile to use it on. Um, what other paper don't we use it on? Black, it can be problematic. But if you, sorry, I'm just going to use minis on there. Now, they do have a name. And the good Catholic girl in me can't remember the name of what these are called. But they do have a name. And I should know because my uncle's a priest and wears one. I have certain events. <laughs> Not all the time. Depending on, no, don't do that, Ellen. Right. Let's go and get these backings off. Sorry, gone silent, concentrating. Yeah, you don't want to come up. Can you just come up, please? Thank you. It's very rude, I tell you. Right. Now, I like mine lined up. Some of the girls in class had their middle wise man um, not lined up. I can't do that. I don't like that. More to the point. It's not that I can't do it. I don't like it. Uh, it may be close to the end because when it gets close to the end, um, I have, since my last video, I've changed mine. I was having a few issues with it last video and I did know it was close to the end. So on this, um, on the bigger spool, if you can see the red tab, that means you're getting close to the end and it does start to drag a bit and doesn't necessarily do all the nice rolling quite as well as it did at the start of the roll. Okay. So, all wise men in place. I'm going to pop a mini dimensional on both stars minis are here and you can see here i have cut lots of little strips and those little strips are from the back of these buildings i had a lot of uh, my teen girls cutting dimensionals in half now these dimensional the mini dimensionals cut in half are just way 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 too much for me to handle so I had cut them into the strips some of the other girls just cut a big long strip because the side of the mini dimensionals is quite wide and um, that's what they were doing they were doing one big strip and then cutting it into the sized pieces that they need and would you believe I have lost my other Bethlehem no I haven't that's right here so I think there is a spot not that we need dimensionals everywhere but there's one spot where we can definitely fit a full mini dimensional which is right there and I will show you my other projects uh, before we go so you kind of want a bit of support in the middle and then a bit of support at the end so nothing too crazy but we do just need that little bit of support so I am just going to cut some strips this is why I love the edges because they always get used and you always kind of need something little and tiny like just ah, come on come off do what you told it doesn't want to come off wants to come off on my hand but does not want to come off onto the paper Okay, that's that one done. Yeah. 
that one isn't holding on quite as well okay and then this one along here and do you know what I think that gives enough stability so I think I've got a teeny enough piece here for this area and then I just want that piece here and I cut the perfect amount of strips just want this piece along here I could put another piece there but I'm pretty confident that it's going to be okay I just want to open up this one window and then I think we're good okay that window just does not want there we go okay dimensionals away because we're done now what would we all think while I'm um, adhering these all together what would we think if I wink a Stella it one of the cards and put Winker Stella on the wise man. I want to know your opinions. Wow, now that Halloween has passed 60 cards. Oh my god, you're crazy woman. Mind you, I've got an order for 20 cards that I have to make. And I have to start sending cards to people in far off places from me. So many, many of my friends live inside my computer in um, other countries. So I need to get them some Christmas cards in the mail so they arrive in time for Christmas. Got to get a few other things off my plate first, but I think I shall be spending a bit of time here at my craft desk because I can tell you now I haven't sent my November birthday cards yet and it's like my goddaughter's birthday in two days she will not be getting her card in time <laughs> that's okay I think they were late with my kids cards as well so you know fair's fair but I think we may be able to catch up really soon even though they're in Sydney we could have caught up before now, but you know, life. So the thing for lining this up, and I can show you on the grid map. So it's on a curve, but the sides of the buildings are actually straight lines. So what you want to do, so you can see how if I put it like that, you can see that the lines aren't straight. So if we just put it on such an angle that these lines are perpendicular to our horizontal lines that works perfectly now I'm just eyeballing this but I could be even better if I did that and that is straight and then I'm just going to do my star and that is most of the card done no Stella I'm only going to do it to one card to see what it looks like uh, I'm curious but I wanted to know if you guys were curious to see your opinions on Winker Stella do you know what I could have done I could have done it on the bit that I stuffed up because you know this card is all about the metallics and then just using the um, shadow I do plan on actually using the images in this stamp set at one stage don't stress I will be using the images and I'm assuming I will be using them with blends so that's my plan when we get there it's just been very busy other cards to make you're curious to Cindy okay the card that I like the least is the one I'll do it on there will be there's always a card that you like the least Hang on. yep that's 
went stray. Okay, so besides actually gluing it together, that now I'm going to grab one card and wink it up. And Jane is not here because she started her new job. So she's not seeing the wink of Stella, but she may see the replay. Because I'm assuming she'll have a bit of training time. So which one don't I like? I like both of them. They're both pretty much identical. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to grab my wink. I've been using it a bit recently. Do you think I can find my wink? I'm on the second go around. Okay. One of these is just full of rubbing alcohol and one of them is the original, but the shimmer that comes out is going to be exactly the same. So... And they're both dying, but I'm trying to use them all. I really am. And this is something you really don't need to do. Oh, it sounds like this one is like totally dead. Let's see if I can at least. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. I don't know if you guys can see this. This is like Shimmerama Plus. Just making sure I'm getting all the areas. Oh, this one definitely has the rubbing alcohol in it. Actually, that looks really crap. I don't like it, but... I'm going to try my other wink of Stella, which I think is equally dying. Oh no, this seems to have more in it. I am still going to give it a bit of a... See, it sounds empty too. But anyway, we shall see. See how dry that is? Do you know what? I think... I think I have to open a whole new wink of Stella. Oh, we're coming out fast now. Whoops, a daze. Coming out thick and fast. I'm not loving it, but we're going to have to call it done because I started. So we'll finish what I started. And we're not opening the new Winker Stella today. We're just going to finish up what I have here. Okay, there we go. Those three drops should, because I've got a drop here as well. These three drops should finish us off but I don't like it I think because it's too dense because this is the end of them but I can see the lines that I've colored and I'm just really not a fan but you don't know until you try Okay, I'm just going to wipe this up and I'm going to put these in the bin because seriously, they're done. And I haven't opened a new Winker Stella in a long time. A very, very long time. Okay. Winking Stella everywhere. That's right. I'm looking, yeah, I'm so tempted to cut more black and cover it over because I think that is an experiment I'm not happy with. I'm doing it. I'm cutting more black cardstock because I can and that's what I want to do. 
I just, I don't know. Can you girls, yeah, you girls can see exactly what I can see. And it's, it's just not pretty at all. At all. So, Deb, you were exactly correct. I should have trusted you, but, you know, curiosity won. That's okay. There is a fix. I shall not lose this card. It will be salvaged. A bit of die cutting and a bit of glue and two Winker Stellas in the bin. Yes, cover it. You wish I would. Look, I meant to mention it in my team meeting. I should have stopped at just one, but I wasn't listening to myself. But, yeah. And, look, it could have been the fact that these winks are on their last legs. But who knows? I'm just going to run these through very quickly, just one at a time. No. That all moved. It's not happy. There we go. <laughs> yeah, Delinda, I really, if I wasn't cutting this, those elements, and if they weren't already stuck down, those elements would be going in the bin. Seriously. That's how much I really don't like them. They just look cheap. I just don't think it's elegant. Maybe that's the best way to put it. It's not elegant. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Cindy. Oh, my God. Cracker. Vegas wise men. Well, at least we now know how to create Vegas wise men. So if you ever get the party theme, like costume party theme, that you have to dress up or do something and it has to be a Vegas wise man, I've sorted it. You know exactly how to create that Vegas wise man. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Only you, Cindy. Only you. Seriously. Okay, and last piece of paper and last wise man. Now I have Winkers Stella everywhere. <laughs> uh, I know, I know, it's all good, it's all good. Wise man. <laughs> Oh my god, my laughter sounded like lavender. Oh my D word. Elvis impersonating wise men. Okay, girls, keep it coming. Keep it coming until they get covered up. And then we shall speak of them no more. <laughs> oh dear. Come on. Thank you. Thank God for my mini machine. That'd be this portable and easy to move in and out now let's put all three guys away come on one last shot girls one last shot and now we've got to be aware of the glue the glue glob that may appear <coughs> okay right this here that there that, well, that can now stay under my desk for the moment. They need scarves. <laughs> no, they don't need scarves, Cindy. Seriously. Okay. Comedy of Errors. This was meant to be quick video, girls. Like, seriously. It was meant to be quick. No. Still not happy. It's 
clear, but I know I've just pushed it in further. See? Let's see if I can't coax that out. Okay. Try the back of the hand. No, I can see it there. Just needs. Now I have a feeling because of the amount of pressure I'm putting on this is going to be an avalanche. Okay, so Lisa Avalanche is on the back of my hand and not on the card. And then I will act like a primary school kid, wait for this to dry, and then I will rub it off my hand, like roll it off my hand and give my hand, the back of my hand a wax while I'm there. Did everyone used to coat the back of their hand in, um, in glue and then roll it off? Liberace wise me. <laughs> yes, that also works. That also works. Now, you may still be able to see some of this glimmer, but seriously, it's just mostly going to be covered up. Okay, I'm going to slide this under. What's that wearing, David? Ah, uh, fair enough. That makes sense. Look, they're back to normal wise men with a few little shimmers. Nothing too crazy with a few little shimmers. It's all good. I am going to wipe this off the back of my hand though. It's a bit too much glue. Okay, lucky I had this baby wipe here. Okay. So do I. Mine's always upside down in my holder. I do sometimes just get one because I normally, I don't recap it every time I use it. Like I'll do part of a project and I won't recap it afterwards. So I think that's what does it in my case, Ruth. But anyway, okay. Now, how do we adhere the vellum to our piece of Simply Elegant? So we're going to need our mini glue dots and we're going to need our stamp and seal again. So on our wise men we are just going to put a strip of stamp and seal on every wise man. So you can see I'm also not fast doing my stamp and seal. I am quite slow as well. I know, yay, all fixed, Linda, and it was a super duper easy fix. Now, on this part, we are I going... I didn't get that. Yeah, I Could know. Could you try again? No, because I'm not talking to you, Siri. Okay. <sighs> I love how she gets not offended, and I'm just ah, sticking my hand everywhere. Not fun. Okay, and then I'm just probably going to leave that at two. So we've got glue kind of everywhere. Now this piece is bowed. I wonder why. I wasn't kind to it at all. My star isn't straight or anything. But that is now glued down. One done, and then I've got three, three cards to assemble in various pieces. So we're going to do 
stamp and seal, stamp and seal, stamp and seal, up and back. And I'm finished with my stamp and seal, so I'm pop the cap on and pop that over there. And then three glue dots, and then way back to our wet glue. I lied, we are going to use it again. Okay. Well, thank you so much for that entertainment. We've we did our palms in Elmer's glue, then peeled it off. Yes, but this glue works the same. It dries clear. But yes, it was. We did have Elmer's glue here as well. Okay, so oh, please don't. Please don't thank you. Yep. It was, I don't think it was called Elmer's Glue then. Um, but yeah, it was always like the, the clear, the clear glue. And then like, Dave and I had a glue conversation in the car yesterday. We were talking about Perkins Paste and Clag. I don't know if you guys in America had Clag glue with that was all like it was like a flour and water glue and you had the big brush in the middle and it had the red top and then sometimes when you pop the top the glue came out at the same time yes that there was always one kid that ate the perkins paste you are so correct that was not me but I don't ever think they got sick from it, which is like really weird. Really, really weird. I lied. I need the stamp and seal back. So for me, I just adhere the top of the card insert. I don't do anything else. And what I do when it comes to Christmas time, I batch all my cards together so I'll put all these cards together then all, all the red cards together whatever it may be and then all the portrait or landscape like there are subsections in there I put them together and sort them and then I set up my sentiment stamp my inside sentiment stamp in the Stamparatus and then I just go through and go bam 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 and then that stage is done and then I have my spreadsheet um, that tells me I would have had the labels done by that stage and then I just write to Cindy from Ellen, Louisa, David, Lavender and Owen and then I would have the envelope, pop it in and do the same for Delinda as well and lots of other amazing people. Sorry, I'm just picking on you too. Hey Lucy, Lucia, sorry. Thank you so much for the awards. Lovely to have you here. Oh, Cindy, I'm so glad to hear that you never ate Perkins paste. I'm very proud of younger Cindy for not doing that. But I do, you know, you do wonder what happened in their tummy. Hey, Cheryl. Sorry, I've got to scroll up a bit, Cheryl, to see you pop in. So because there is so much metallic on these cards, we truly don't need any further embellishment because we've got metallic in the paper, we've got the copper, we worked out Winker Stella doesn't work, but the vellum, you can still see the design and the colour through the vellum, but we're just not getting the shine which is why i made the piece of vellum that bit smaller so you can see the shine in more but you can still see that beautiful elegant pardon me elegant pattern just gonna pop these last three 
card inserts in. And then I can call these beautiful cards done. And I will show you. This is the coordinating stamp set that goes with these dies. And I will come back and do something with these wise men. One day before Christmas, I will come back and say something. No, you're fine, Shell. Oh, blaming it on your grandson. Ah, oh, thank you, Delinda, for sharing. That's awesome. Okay, just let me grab these two pieces, pop them in, and then we are done. It's been an hour. We've had some adventures. This was meant to be a quick card. So I will not be here on Thursday. I said I would be here on Thursday. I have, and I'll let you guys all make a guess. I have a very, very, very important appointment on Thursday. I'll let you all guess what said appointment is. Oh, it's not there. It's still in my cart. So an extremely important and long overdue appointment. I'll just clean up and then I will lay everything out, show you what I did in gold foil. It is copper foil. So the background is silver and gold and I used copper because they're the three metallics used in this card note nails are done hair the hair well i'm not getting a cut but i shall not be able to call myself gray and you guys don't quite realize how gray i am because my gray is hiding but when the wind blows whew, it's very bad it's very bad but mr mark will fix me all up on thursday and then I will see you girls on Friday and we'll be playing with, we'll use a six by six piece of Eden's Garden, a half an A4 sheet of paper and four card bases. And we shall um, do some Eden's Garden um, projects. So it releases tomorrow. No, I've got plenty of years to be grey um not yet now i also said i was going to share my christmas stamp thumb projects from last month and this was also using the wise men so i made this slimline card that's using the silver foil did some blending i did use the um rose gold and gold paper it does not die cut well there is a film yes the new and even more beautiful it's the last thing i've gone to the beautician and she used a hedge trimmer i've had my nails done and now i've got the hair color the haircut doesn't come for another three weeks but that's okay i can deal with that hello sure thank you for joining um yes yeah, so it doesn't die cut well i also have one of my downlines say that this paper doesn't die cut well it's because of the coating on the back of the foil and then i did my frameable piece exactly the same way and it is using i used the gilded flakes yes that is glass um i used the gilded flakes on that one and using uh, the foam adhesive sheets so same set that's why i say i've used the silhouettes and the dies a lot but i haven't used and i do have a video of this so or at least popping it together so if you want to see how these came together there is definitely a video on my youtube for you to watch thank you Thank you, thank you. So today we used Wise Men Tidy. We used the Simply Elegant 
design the series paper. We did use copper foil as well. I'm not getting the copper foil. And we made, well, I'll pop a couple out. I'll pop the non-winked ones out to create this very elegant card for all those people who are a little religious in your lives. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining me and keeping me amused. It was, it was fantastic. Thank you for the giggles about Liberace, Vegas, um, Elvis, and I'm sure there was something else. You always give me a lot of giggles, so I would love to see you on Friday my time. Yes, enjoy the replay show. It'll be up shortly on YouTube for you. Thank you. I just knew, I always knew I wanted to do silhouette ones and create a scene. And this is a very simple implied scene where you've got the town above you and it's as if they're walking back and forth up the hill. Um, to get to Bethlehem so yeah I love this I love this paper I want to do more with this beautiful paper and the cloisters not that they are cloisters cloisters is an area but that's what it reminds me of and I did share a card recently no video but I did share it of a card using uh, this paper so it's on my blog and a post on Facebook and you can look up simply elegant on my blog and it will come up for you so if you want to purchase any of these products please um, contact me I will have the link up um, in the next 10 minutes or so. Also, uh, please don't forget on your way out, thumbs up, hit the bell, make sure you're subscribed and liking my page. If you want to join me on Facebook, I do post multiple times a day. I try and keep you girls amused. Um, and I am also on Instagram if you want to find me over there. So you can find me in lots of places. And it's all Ella Woodbridge or Ella Woodbridge Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator. So have an amazing rest of the week. And I will join you on Friday to ring in the weekend with Eden's Garden. Have a good one, guys. Bye.